Hey everyone, welcome back to the Beehive Buzz. I'm the Queen Bee, Lisa. So it's been a while since I posted. Life has just been busy. I know everybody has a busy life, but um, this is not a job for me. I don't do videos for any reason other than for my convenience and for my entertainment. <laughs> But if you're here today, you're about to get a little update on my life and an update on my project. So I have been busy sewing. I've gotten a lot done. And um, some things that have been keeping me busy is um, my oldest daughter just graduated from nursing school. And one of my Make Nine projects was to finish her quilt, which I did do. And I will insert a picture of that here. We went to Wisconsin and um, was part of that and got to witness that ceremony. It was just a lovely, quick trip, but it was just a lovely time with family and a lot of good memories are made. I'm just so proud of my daughter for sticking through it. It wasn't easy for her. She had to have a lot of perseverance and she just did. She knew what she wanted to do and she got it done. So I'm very proud of her. Um, after graduation, we had... Um, a short week between graduation and uh, this weekend. So this is Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Um, it has been a whirlwind of a week. I had a speaking engagement at a church nearby for their mother-daughter tea. So I was getting ready for that. And later the same day as the tea that I was speaking at was the bridal shower for my future daughter-in-law. So I had to get the wedding quilt done, which I was able to do amid everything else. And that you can see on the screen. So it's been a busy week and uh, just life has been busy. Besides the quilt, um, oh, for graduation, I did make a new outfit. And the reason why I got back into some fast garment sewing is because of the wedding dress I'm making. I got a little rusty with some of my skills, so I thought, well, I'll make an outfit for the graduation, and the top is made out of a one-way stretch, but it's a slippery, I don't even remember, I got it from Joanne's a long time ago, it's been in my stash forever, with the pattern I wanted to make, and I finally got around to it, and the skirt is made from leftover fabric from the uh, jacket I made my daughter who went to college last fall the Cruella de Vil um, jacket which is on the video list for my channel and it was left over from the sleeves that looks like a honeycomb come on beehive honeycomb so I made a skirt out of that leftover material and one of the things I did that I really enjoyed was to make the pockets I added pockets to it and I made the pockets out of the same material that I made the blouse out of. Now, nobody's going to see that, but I know it's there, and I kind of enjoyed doing that. So there's a lot coming up. Um, oh, I also made a like a spring-summer dress um, when the weather started changing. Um, that, I'll post a picture of that up here as well. So a lot of sewing going on in between jumps of helping to get ready for the bridal shower. And now we are in wedding crunch time. So what do I have on my list? Well, the very, maybe not the very first thing, but I'm not, I'm going to be tackling this. So this is the dress I'm going to be wearing to the wedding. And there's a couple little alterations I want to make for the pattern um, because just body shape and my comfort level, I don't want to feel self-conscious in this dress. So I'm going to um, be playing with the pattern before I actually do any cutting out or sewing or anything, of course. Um, but I'm really excited about this. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. Um, it does have an invisible zipper, so wish me luck. I got some of the double-sided seam tape to help stabilize the zipper while I'm putting it in. 
and I'm hoping that that will all go um, well because <laughs> I'm afraid that the material that I have it's that stretchable satin which is great it's gonna be fun to work with but one it ravels I already can tell you that already and two I'm afraid that if I have to rip anything sewing out any mistakes it's gonna damage the fabric and it's gonna be kind of hard to, to hide that so this is gonna be a very careful careful so but if in the meantime um, I do have, excuse me while I grab this, this fabric here, this is that um, linen blend that I got a while back at Joann's. Now, my orange cat has claimed this as his bed. This is a problem when you have cats, okay? Um, quilt tops, fabric, he really likes to feel this, and I can't blame him. It is not scratchy at all. It is just a lovely feel, and I had originally intended on making um the short sleep version of this uh just as a nice breezy easy warm weather type of garment but i'm also contemplating on making the coastal side split skirt by pattern emporium i have it i just haven't printed it up yet and I'm looking at it and I'm going, I don't know, I think this material might be nice for um, the skirt too. So I'm trying to decide on that. I got to wash it first because it's got my cat, cat's hair all over it. The other thing I want to make is um, this skirt here. Probably uh, either this view or this view. I'm not sure how much fabric I had. I can't remember. But this is a quick and easy, super easy sew. This is just a stretchy um double brush poly i love the feel of this stuff it is so soft i mean i almost want to make just make pjs out of it and call it good enough but i really like this this print and i have a lot of um coral colored tops i want some sort of coral kick lately i know i'm wearing black today go figure but a lot of my shirts in the spring and summer have some sort of coral or, or a solid co coral um so i think that would look kind of cute with this and eventually I want to get some uh, like dark brick red rib knit or knit, not rib knit, but like a jersey knit to make like a, uh, just a regular shirt out of to wear with it as well. So that's what's on my plate in the near future. And other than that, we are in crunch time for the wedding. Um, it's coming up fast, June 9th. And school ends on the 26th for us. And then I have a week of teacher in service after that. Um, obviously not on Memorial Day. We have Memorial Day off, but that week. And then the week after that is wedding week. Ah, so I'm doing the rehearsal dinner and I'm doing the wedding cake. And I don't know, it's just, it's not a huge cake. It's just one for the bride and the groom and the wedding party. And I've talked with my future daughter-in-law quite a bit about what she wants it to look like. So hopefully I can at least get it close. I'm not a prof professional cake decorator by any stretch of the imagination, but it is something that I've done in years past for different events that for our family. And they just wanted it to be um, a mom-made cake for them. Now the rest of the guests, supposedly um, the bride's mom is supposed to be ordering cupcakes from a local bakery or somebody that she knows in her circle of friends. And if push comes to shove, then she can't get anybody to do that. Then what she wants me to do is make a couple of sheet cakes, not as decorated as the groom cake, the bride and groom cake, of course, but with the same color scheme, but just, you know, enough cake so that everybody can have a little bit, which she hasn't let me know yet, but those, as long as I have a few days in advance notice that I can get it all done. So that's coming up and that's where I've been. I've been married to my sewing machine i have been um working on notes for my speaking engagement life has just been a whirlwind and i just have not had the time or energy to deal with the technology to just sit down and make a video it, it, the problem is actually in full disclosure i've made a few videos over the last couple months it's just i didn't ever have time to go through the editing process and by the time i get to sit down to it it's like everything's outdated <laughs> and I'm like oh I'm gonna have to start this whole process over so I decided today I'm just gonna sit down and do a quick video quick catch up this is gonna be short and sweet and just let you know that yes I'm still here 
I'm out there with still watching videos or listening to them while I'm sewing or quilting. Um, so it's, it is what it is. I've been meaning to do a Friday sews video, but every Friday has been jam packed and Thursdays have been jam packed and then Saturdays have been busy and then Sundays I'm crashing and burning after church and it's just like, I just can't pull it together. So I'm sorry. I'm a bad YouTuber, but that's okay. Um, like I said, I just do this for fun anyway. So I don't know if I should call this a Friday sews a couple days late or just plant it in on, on Monday and just say, hey, it is what it is. <laughs> um, I know it's me made May, but I haven't even gotten together to do anything about that other than what I just showed you today. So I hope everybody's having a wonderful day and that wherever you are, that you have something to be joyful about and thankful for. And thanks again for watching and sticking in there with me. And uh, I know I have a couple new subscribers, so thank you very much. Y'all just have a good day. And this is the Beehive Buzz buzzing off.